Hi guys, long time no see. I'm sorry I haven't made a video on this channel for about a week now. I miss you guys. Um, July is going so quickly and I'm pretty sure it'll be feel like a second until I am vlogging every day again. But until then, I am back with a fit to force update. Now, the last video that I did, I think I was actually wearing the same scarf, um, weirdly. Maybe this can be my fit to force scarf. Um, but I mentioned about doing a favourite workout clothes video and it got a good response. So here it is. These are my favourite workout clothes and it's kind of mixed in with a haul um, of workout stuff from the States because I bought a few things whilst I was there. I was working out whilst I was there. I was actually very proud of myself. I managed to get to the gym I think six times um, in my two week holiday which for a holiday I was really 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 happy with that. So um, first of all I guess, should I show you my new stuff? I think most of this is new stuff, so I'll just do a little bit of an intro. When I work out, I really like to wear tight um, Capri trousers. I don't like to wear baggy anything because I feel like it really like feels like it's weighing me down. I don't really like to wear any kind of like fleecy material. I really like the like spandex <laughs> super tight. Um, material because I feel like it's so much easier, especially if you're running. Um, it just doesn't get in your way and it dries quickly, it doesn't like cling to you, it's just good. So in general I tend to go for kind of black legging type trousers just cut off below the knee. These are a pair that I bought when I was in LA, they're Nike ones and I actually don't really own any other Nike gear because it is really really expensive and I'll get onto that in a minute but this was kind of like a treat for myself because I really really liked these I liked the way they fit and they're also their dry fit material so they don't kind of stay all sweaty when you're working out which is another thing that isn't very nice these actually look tiny and I ended up getting the size small I think they do extra small as well um, but they looked so tiny I tried on like a I think I tried on a medium to start off with being like oh they'll be way too small I'll probably need a large but they stretch so much and you don't want to get them too big because then when you're working out they might fall down so these are my Nike capris and I really really love them and then I also have another pair these are my other favorite ones and I actually got these from TK Maxx um, this is my biggest money saving tip for workout clothes is that TK Maxx have some great stuff and these are from a brand called I think it's Marika Tech as you can see there and I got these in a medium and I wish I'd gotten them in a small because again um, they do stretch when you're running even when they're really tight and they tend to fall down a little bit but these ones are really high waisted so they're okay and they have this kind of white stripe down the edge which I thought was a weird like one of those glow-in-the-dark stripes, but it's actually like ruched up the side, which is kind of weird. But I really like these, they fit really well again, and they're generally, these are my kind of go-to um, two pairs of workout trousers that I own. Um, as for tops, I find that a lot of workout tops can be really, really, really unflattering, and if you ever see any tops that are this kind of style, with the ruching down the sides, these, in my experience, are the most flattering kind of workout tops that you can buy. Um, this is from L Sport. I actually got this one at TK Maxx for about £12 as well. Um, I'm not a massive fan of the colour. It is a little bit bright, but I do have a purple um, top very similar to this from a similar brand. I think it's um, MPG, I think. I feel like MPG is a weird name for a brand. I don't know. I'm going to put it in an annotation if I'm wrong anyway. So yeah, I really like the kind of tops that are ruched at the sides, I think they're really good and they're comfortable to work out in, especially if you're going to be doing um, like crunches or anything and you're conscious of like your tummy or whatever, they're just really flattering and nice. And then another new one that I picked up in LA, and this is my favourite, favourite workout top, um, is another one from Nike and it's pink and orange, I love this top so much and it's um, it has a racer back but it has like the double strap thing going on at the back which I really really like it's their dry fit material again so it doesn't get all sweaty I just love this, I almost bought it, they had it in orange with pink as well instead of pink with orange um, and I almost bought it but it was kind of expensive so I thought I will be good and stick to one um, so this is like my nice workout top all the other stuff that I own is from TK Maxx pretty much um, another thing that I have been kind of discovering more about since I've been into fitness and stuff is sports bras and I have a few sports bras I have a really old Triumph one that I've had since school and it's lasted me and lasted me and it's been really really amazing um, but it's getting so knackered now and I recently bought another one which I also got in LA surprise surprise um, this is kind of awkward showing you a bra but it's a sports bra so I guess it's not that bad and this is from Victoria's Secret I absolutely love this because 
it's a little bit more like a bra than a normal sports bra as you can see it has a little bit of padding but it's more just kind of support it's underwired which is really not that common for a sports bra but it's also it has like this padding around the wire so it's really comfortable to wear it's really supportive and if you see the back it has a really really kind of substantial strap to it and it also has the sized band as well which I really like and I got this in the sale um, I think it was $29 and I really really like it it's kind of a quite like high coverage sports bra like if you are the kind of girl who wants to work out in like a crop top you could definitely just work out in this and your like shorts or your trousers if you want to I'm not really into that because I'm not comfortable enough with my figure yet to do that I don't think um, but yeah totally if I was like happy showing my abs off to everybody I would be working out in this but um, yeah that's really good and I really like this I think when Victoria's Secret comes to England I might like my next sports bra purchase will definitely be from there because this is the best one that I own um, apart from that the last thing I've got to show you guys is trainers I mean this is kind of a random kind of rambly video because it's all about what you prefer wearing and what your body suits as well in terms of like flattering and also for trainers you have to get the right trainers for you you can't just walk in and be like I want those ones because they're nice and pink um, so I these are new trainers but originally when I went to get my first pair of running shoes I think it's about two years ago now I went to a running shop and got assessed on like the way I walk the way I run um, the weaknesses in my feet because I do have quite weak ankles from wearing Ugg boots and ballet shoes a lot because they don't support your feet they're not good for your ankles um, and they gave me the ASICS, well they didn't give it to me, I had to buy them, but they kind of prescribed me um, the ASICS Gel Nimbus model and at the time I think it was the Gel Nimbus 11 that I had and then when I was in LA they're a lot cheaper in America so I bought a new pair and these are the Gel Nimbus 14 and they are so comfortable, they just fit like an absolute glove and they're like running on a duvet, they are so squidgy and comfy and I really really like them, I've never had any problems with them um, yeah, so these are my shoes, and I also really, really like this colourway because the ones that I had before were like all white, really kind of like 90s looking trainers, and they weren't great. So I was happy to find some that were a nice kind of grey colour with a little bit of turquoise, a little bit of purple. Um, Asics are actually pretty crazy in the States, I didn't realise um, they did such bright colours. They had like, I went in to get these, and they had like bright pink with like tie dye on them, but I thought these were pretty good standard running shoes for me. So they are my trainers and that is pretty much it I think for my favourite fitness clothes. If you guys have any recommendations of where to shop for fitness clothes, especially in the UK, I know every time I go into Sweaty Betty I'm always like, oh I want everything but it's so expensive and as far as I know now the best places to buy stuff is TK Maxx and online. So that is my top tips if you're looking to buy workout clothes. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've had quite a lot of requests to do a kind of workout routine video and tell you what I do um, on a kind of daily or weekly basis for working out. And if you'd like to see that, then make sure you write a comment in the comment section below, as well as any tips as to where you buy your stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!